I'm gonna love you. What's going on everybody my name is wolver guy hope you guys are having a fantastic friday i'm not going to try and make this video too long but there's quite a few things that i want to go over uh so uh, uh right now i'm going to show you guys all the nfl playoff objective stuff that i got done including the challenges and stuff so i'm going to roll those clips right there and i'm going to explain how you guys get these fancy packs so roll the stuff All right, guys, you see that I got all those cards, so it's easy. So all you have to do is go to the objective list, and you're going to look at pretty much all they want you to do is a couple sets, or like two sets, and then do all of the solo challenges for the playoffs, and put those players that you get from the challenges in your lineup, and at least get um, nine, of these, nine of 11 of these objectives done, and they're going to give you six fantasy packs so you get to choose from um they're all the teams in the playoffs and you get to choose those and uh you'll, they'll give you 87 to 93 now um i believe they are all nat types so what i did was i quick sold all of them and turn them into training points and upgrade my tim brown which i'll talk about later in the video also guys if you're getting low on coins too and you have a bunch of silver cards saved up as well i'll talk about that later in the video but that's how you get the packs right here it's all easy stuff you don't have to do everything if you're more of an online game online guy instead of solo challenge guy oh you gotta win 15 games get that done you get 2,000 coins and uh you if you get the whole list done uh, they give you more rewards for it, but I'm not really worried about it because I'm not really a PvP kind of guy anyway, so that's an objective list. That's how I got the stuff done. Also, they have a free weekend uh, or a free entry of Weekend League this weekend, so if you guys want to hop on that and you didn't have time to qualify, you guys are automatically in. Am I going to play it? Absolutely not because that's, I don't know, I didn't like it last year. This game's kind of, you know, glitchy and buggy this year, so 
so uh, I don't really care for online play anymore this year. So anyways, other than that, there's no new challenges. Also, if you guys have logged in during the week, the conversion happened from snow to training points. Uh, I'll talk about that. If you have to go to the Madden cards like the Nat Type Champ Bailey, Michael Vick, and Tony Gonzalez, uh, I'm going to those snow those snow points that you had to use to upgrade those cards during the training and i'll talk about that later in the video as well but those are the challenges uh right now that's that that's it we're gonna move on to solo battles so last weekend uh they fucked something up i got to finish like 26 out of 50 or whatever and they gave me a lot of packs now i used all those coins and all those cards i got i got a full legend randy moss i sold for coins as well um pretty much dumped all that into some power-ups i'll talk about that later in the video but the last level uh or last tier of uh opponents right here is the reset from uh friday saturday and sunday so these are the opponents for this weekend so uh they still have the same ravens uh guy that was that you had to play uh from wednesday and thursday uh so i uh, generally i'm i'm right there i'm at 205 i believe rank 100 is like 20 uh 20 000 points in front of me so um i'm pretty confident that i can maybe get in the top 100 if i get in the top 100 i will make that a pack opening video but if i don't then it's nothing so uh anyways these are the opponents so everything should be a blow over other than this guy right here he does he's a pretty die hard uh ravens fan he's got a lot of ravens players he's got the full uh i think it's 97 or 98 ed reed with chemistry he's a 99 it's ridiculous his speed is ridiculous so make sure to not throw it to that guy because i did i won by like one touchdown in the final moment so i was happy about that but if i can play if i can win all of these on all madden i believe i can get in the top 100 if i can't it is what it is but with that being said those are the solo battles and uh they also have limited time jalen ramsey and um randall cobb in uh in packs right now so if you guys want to try and pull those those are in the clutch and game changer packs i don't pull them because i can't ever get them so i don't care about them but other than that that's that's what's going on in the store so um the thing how to make easy coins if you guys are trying to wonder what i'm talking about so what all you got to do is you go to the exchange or actually you go to your mutt tokens excuse me you go to earn tokens get enough for a silver so obviously you turn in um 62 to 65s and then 66 to 69s then you get a silver token from that then you go over to token rewards you go over to the playbooks it doesn't matter um what i would like to what you guys should do before doing this is go in the auction search the teams and then put the playbook filter on and see what playbooks are going for what but i've seen in the top three for the last week um that go for the most is it's kind of a tie between the new england offensive playbook the bears playbook and then the lions now uh for defense the defensive playbooks uh i know pretty much the lions and new england go for a lot as well so uh, again look into that as well guys just uh look into the auction see what's popping what's selling and uh go from there so i uh, generally i just go with the bears sell it i get like an easy 7 8k from it and that's how i make my money with the silver cards so uh other than that that is how you make easy coins uh it's not the quickest way but you will eventually sell it i guarantee it because that's what i've done i've put the bears playbook and auction a couple times boom there you go you can do the same thing with jerseys but yeah use gold cards and um those don't sell as quick as i've seen so that will do it for the sets the last thing i want to talk about is my lineup so there's quite a few things i want to talk about with my lineup um since a few things have changed but if you guys didn't see last week's video i'm going to go over it for you guys once again so i have changed my balanced o chemistry to go deep and zone run because i've noticed those are the two things that give you the most out of anything in the games with these chemistries. I've upgraded my Jerry Rice to a 97. I've upgraded my Tim Brown fully to a 97. This card is amazing, guys. If you guys have this, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys don't have it and you want to look into it, 
it's definitely worth buying in my opinion um i definitely had to go get the tim brown and upgrade him from the first tier all the way to the 97 i put the elite route ru uh, elite route running chemistry and spin specialist on him as well so uh this card is just great overall also so how did i get go go deep to 30 so pretty much what you have to do is put it on your quarterbacks you got to put it on all your receivers and you have to put it on your tight ends as well and you also need to put it on um your linebackers now if you want zone run which is what i did you got to put it on all your running backs and you also need to put it as your backups here as your backup linemen as well you can get uh, zone run maxed out but what we're gonna have to do is get a couple of times two times three for go deep pull the other uh like low gold cards out and then uh slip the other ones in that are like got the times two and three modifiers for zone run and then there you go so that will do it for offense um if you guys did not know barkley got an upgrade so he is a 94 now and it's He's pretty good. The spin moves good. The stiff arm is great. Uh, I can actually do stuff now, especially not having to worry about uh, just putting all the workload on Ricky Williams for the most part. So um, I have had Deion Jones, the second middle linebacker. I need to upgrade him. I think he has a 93 or 94 card. I need to use uh, points to upgrade him. I used my power up pass if I didn't talk about this on um, Lawrence Taylor because he was going for 200, 300K still. So I decided to use it on him. So he's a 94. Sean Taylor's still uh, hopping at 95. Also, I do have the fully upgraded Steve Hutchinson now. Uh, so he is a 94. And also I got the Kevin Zeitler as well. So he's a 92. So my line's looking uh, pretty sturdy right now. But back to defense, uh, nothing else has really changed too much uh demarcus ware's got an upgrade too so i can uh dump some points in him make him a i believe a 95 with the chemistry and then uh micah hyde still chilling at 92 champ bailey at a 93 with chemistry but that's 92 without it uh i got the khalil mac that took forever for me to get and he's he's great same thing with geno atkins i have the fully upgraded john randall to a 96 with the sprinter perk to help everybody out and uh everson griffin just chilling at 92 and the same thing with these corners right here on special teams i did get ben rathlisberger i pulled him and i also pulled um this hill card right here now i just use him as in the um rotation just if i use a fake um, he's a little bit faster than Robbie Gold, so I can run out of the pocket a little bit more and then throw it to whoever I need to if I'm using the fake. So that is it for my team. And then for specialists, I haven't changed anything. So that will do it. So the last thing I want to talk about in this video is we want to go to Item Binder. And I'm going to talk about these ghost cards. The Tony G, Champ Bailey, Michael Vick. So um, say I, I have obviously all these cards, but I'm only using two of them two out of three of them because I'm not going to use Michael Vick because I got a way better quarterback at Carson Wentz. So anyways, uh, to get to a 94, you got to drop 4,500 points into him and then you put his Ghost of Madden card in there. Now, um, that's the same thing for Michael Vick and Tony Gonzalez. So um, since I've upgraded uh, Champ Bailey a little bit, uh, I'm going to show you guys, so say you have them at the 88 that you did all the challenges, all that stuff, yada, 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 right? So um, say you only have them at that 88 or 87 or whatever. Um, so what you want to do is go into upgrade and look. So now these are the same numbers with the snow and stuff, but it has changed to training points. So get it 88. It's 325, then 1100, then five for the slot chemistry, then, um, or the chemistry slot, whatever. Then for the last three tiers, it goes from 23, 45, and 9,000. So that is a lot of training points right there. Um, so I'm eventually gonna do this stuff right here, but for now, what I'm gonna do is since I'm kind of focused on getting the sprinter perk done in time to time, or uh, out of 30 out of 30, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Champ Bailey to his next tier which is going to give me the times two perk i hope and then well i need to upgrade regardless and then i'm going to put time two sprinter on him put time two sprinter on the rest of my uh corners if i haven't already and then i'll probably put it on sean taylor as well uh because i don't think i get the times two 
with uh, Micah Hyde right now because he's only a uh, 92 because he has not gotten an upgrade yet. Um, I feel like he might get the team of the year card. I feel like he did pretty good, but he is stuck at a 92 for me right now. So I I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that perk on him or not. So I'm actually going to look at that right now. I don't believe uh, you can, but he does have uh, some decent ability perks too. I have not messed with him because I don't really care. So he's only got one uh, times one out of it. So uh, that kind of does suck, but I believe I'll put that on Sean Taylor and the rest of my corners and uh, whoever else I need to get to uh, out of 30 and then go from there. So other than that, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys have any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section down below. Also, I'll be, I will try to stream the rest of my fantasy franchise this year, too. Um, or well for the season I am in the playoffs if you guys missed the last commentary video I put that out yesterday, so if you're not caught up on that go watch that But uh, I will be streaming that I'm not in the wild card. I bypassed the wild card I didn't have to do that because uh, I think I won my last two games and that's why it jumped me over there So I'm in the divisional guys. Um, I still don't have Matt Barkley. I'm I guess Jeff Driscoll for the win, baby. I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting game. Uh, I definitely have a lot of injuries. I'll definitely go over those when I stream that uh, this weekend. So I don't know if I'll do that Saturday or Sunday, but uh, I'll definitely be streaming that. I don't know how far I'm gonna get because the Broncos have a really OP team, and I know they're gonna go to the Super Bowl regardless. Uh, for the NFC, I don't know. I forget who I'm playing, but. Uh, I guess you guys will find out when I make a commentary video out of that and when I stream that. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you guys have a great Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. With that being said, take care. See you later.